from Gaijin Works International Business Coaching off with a few more comments about joy and staying productive. Work is joy. It can be joy, seriously. Cahil Gabon said, work is love made visible. And as long as our work is full of love, it will stay joyful. So here's a little technique that I'll let you in on that I use all the time. Okay, I might say to myself, then I even have mild attention deficit disorder. But I think it's not really that. I think it's just that we are bombarded with so much information these days that it's easy to become distracted. So here's a way to use that in your favor. This is what I do. I actually flip-flop around, and I do the things that I want to do when I want to do them. Seriously, that's exactly what I do. I know I'm telling a huge secret on myself, but that is how I work, and I find it extremely effective. If I'm feeling a little tired, I might sit back in the chair, do some emails. If I'm feeling really tired, I might read a book. But it's about business. It's still productive. Or even at my rest time, yes, I'm a little bit of a workaholic, and so I'm not completely advocating that. But even in my rest time, I might be looking at a blog that's on productivity or a blog that I'm learning more about social media, something like that. But I do try and recognize what my body's natural rhythms are. So in the morning when I get up, try and go work out then, or at least work out early in the afternoon. Sometime when I'm able to do it easily, that's actually going to generate more energy for me. Also in the morning, I really find that that's my clear thinking time. Get up, go ahead and meditate, and that helps clear my mind even more. After I meditate, I find that the thoughts start to come in. And that's really valuable time. If you listen to Eben Pagan, if you listen to some of his time management series and other great organizational people in our field, you will find that they give themselves the time to think. It's because this process of thinking actually increases your productivity by letting it surface to the top of your mind what the greatest priorities of the day are. Once you figure out really what the greatest priorities are, here's another tip, is I try not to make them more than three. You figure out what those are and focus your day on that you will find that even though there will be distractions, there always are. Even if you only get the top two done, even if you only get the top one done, you have claimed something to do that is of very, very good value. So always do the things that are the most important first. Do them when they're fun for you. Do them when you're full of energy. And do them when you feel like doing them. Let's keep work joy. Ciao for now. I'll talk to you guys soon. Karen Trefty, Gaijin Works International. This